Right, so I thought I'd try and do a little bit of explanation of um, tuning with a curve. This is the curve that I just built based on some other information I've seen around uh, you know, using P curves and radios. Uh, so I tried to use one using the, the curve rather than just a series of straight lines. Uh, so this is what I basically started with, trying to get about 30% worth of power. So this is your throttle left to right, uh, and then you see power out, so each line is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 percent power. So as your throttle speed goes through the curve, the ESC will be applying the power. And you can see it here in the graph, the black line is the radio signal, so that's just a almost linear signal, the, the throttle speed. Uh, and then I add a little bit of a point here, so it just helps the this little launch part actually get up and, and produce a bit of power. So looking at some of the early runs, uh, what I did here was I noticed the amp, which is in green here, uh, not following the power out. So blue is the power out of the ESC. So this blue line is the direct correlation for the throttle curve. And this part here dips down. So what that's saying to me is that in this area of the curve, it's not actually driving hard enough. So the amps aren't you know, lifting, it's not actually drawing enough current. So what I did is between these two curves, you can kind of see the this area is lifted up a little bit more. So instead of being more of a, a swoop down, I've lifted that area up a touch. So it'll add more power, increasing you know, this, this little area here, increasing that in amps. Um, so then in this one, what I saw was this little funny little bit on the RPM. So to me, that's kind of a wheel spin. So it's what I did is between the curves is is this radius here is quite sharp. So it's kind of leaning straight into a lot of power. Um, so what I did here is trying to move this point, uh, these two points. So this point actually came in and try to smooth this curve out a little bit more. So on the hit, it wasn't sort of transitioning from instant power to, to this sort of line so just more of a smoother transition between it so that was the aim to get rid of this little blip in the rpm uh, and then as i go through the curves uh, this one here i saw a little dip just as it's getting up towards 100 percent power so a little bit of dip in in um, amps and then also this little rise in you yeah, not a smooth RPM. So that's sort of saying it might be we're doing a bit of wheel spin there. So what I try and do is where this point here reaches full throttle, try to reduce that down a little bit. So this point here, try to lower that a little bit here to make that curve a little bit more um, smooth and getting up to 100% power. So that's pretty much the development of the curve reading the data logs so there's the this line here the blue line is the the curve and then looking at rpm you know if it's if it's wheel spin if it's not trying to produce the power and then also reading uh the gns times to see if it's you know obviously going faster or slower but yeah you can see just how just the curves slightly change each pass each time around this bigger bigger radius here um, dips down a little bit more where it starts bringing power in here earlier um, and then I think I smoothed it out a little bit here so you can see it's kind of a bit more of an S and this one now is a little bit more linear so just tweaking with it a little bit as we go uh, and comparing it to the log each time we make a pass